Hello Pisces, welcome to your love reading. We're going to be looking at what you can expect in love. As always, these are meant to be general love readings, so they will not resonate with every Pisces watching. Um, take what resonates for you, what applies to you. Uh, you can also check out your other placements, your moon, your rising sign, or any other sign of significance for you. I have all of the playlists for each sign linked in the description box if you want to check out those messages. Sometimes they can resonate more. Um, and let's jump right into the reading for Pisces. Spirits, angels, guides. For Pisces. What do they need to know regarding love? What does Pisces need to know? Hang on. I just moved into a new place, so uh, this is my first time filming in this new place, and I'm going to have to take a little break here because my table is shaking, and I don't know why. So let me try to figure this out. Let me see if I can just put this. Okay, perfect. Awesome. So let's see what we have here for you, Pisces. What can you expect? What's coming your way in love? Knight of Wands and the Star Reverse, Aquarius Energy with the Star Reverse. So something's coming in for you quickly with the Knight of Wands. This could be something um, really fast, move, something that moves quickly. Um, this could be something that comes in. I feel like this is something that comes in out of nowhere for you, Pisces. It's like maybe something that you gave up on is restarting. Maybe something that um, I don't know. I'm kind of getting here with the star reverse. Almost like a situation felt like it was completely done and over with, or um, it would have needed some sort of miracle to fix or make happen. So it's almost like whatever's coming is sudden, but in a really good way, and it's unexpected in a good way. We'll see if I'm right about that. The Knight of Wands could also be um, a symbol for someone that is coming into your life that's very passionate, charming, um, a quick romance, a hot romance, you know, so we'll see. Uh, what do we need to know about these energies? Any past influences that we need to be aware of? Six of Swords and the Two of Swords. Well, the Six of Swords is all about movement and the Two of Swords is about Kind of a difficult decision unable to decide um i feel like there was a difficult decision that you might have made here this could also be the person that you are dealing with or will be dealing with as well but what i'm getting here is maybe you made a difficult decision to make a transition and it's kind of bringing this energy in what are your energies at this time we have the queen of pentacles and the knight of cups oh yeah something's definitely coming in for you what about this other person? Ace of Cups reverse, Three of Cups. Hmm. Now this person's not doing so great <laughs> uh, with the Ace of Cups reverse. This is somebody that is disappointed, heartbroken, upset, emotionally drained. And then the Three of Cups. If they are upset or drained, maybe they're not showing it. Their friends could be helping them. There could have also been a third party situation that brought a lot of heartbreak for someone. We'll see what that's all about. Uh, what do you need to know that you might not know? Oh my gosh, the moon reverse. Okay, Pisces, there you are. The moon reverse and page of wands reverse. Well, the moon reverse is all about kind of um, reveals. An illusion has burst, you know, and whatever was an illusion is no longer an illusion. It's being seen very clearly now. Hmm. Page of Wands reverse. This is something that can doesn't really start or can't get started. Um, it's kind of like one step forward, two steps back. So we'll have to see what that's all about. Where is all of this headed? Wow, Six of Wands. Queen of Swords, okay. There could be a very important conversation that takes place between you and another person. It looks like whatever's happening here 
it's on the road to something successful with the Six of Wands. But we'll have to see because the Queen of Swords is here and she tends to kind of take no prisoners. So we'll see what happens. Okay, uh, what's the overall energy or the reason why all of this could be happening? Wow, Ace of Pentacles. Something's definitely coming in for you, Pisces. Some sort of opportunity is on its way to you or um, will be happening for you. Uh, it could be a job offer. It could be a, an offer of commitment. It could be a potential, a person that you meet that has a lot of potential. It could be a loan or some sort of monetary or financial situation that improves. We'll see. We're going to clarify all of these. Can I get some clarity, please? For Pisces, what do we need to know about? Oh, let me try that again. What do we need to know about all of these energies for Pisces? Not a lot of major arcanas in your spread, Pisces, which tells me that this is more about kind of like the day to day um, little things that are like detailed but add up to something big. Major arcanas are typically like major shifts in energy. So I think what's happening here is something with small steps, baby steps, but it's leading somewhere important. Let's see what the Ace of Pentacles is all about, because this is the why everything is happening. Why is the Ace of Pentacles here? What can you tell us, Spirit, about this Ace of Pentacles? Wow, the moon. Pisces energy. I don't think you see this coming. Whatever this is. Whatever offer this is. It might be surprising. Unexpected. Tell me more about the Ace of Pentacles. Or it could be coming right to you, Pisces. Oh yeah. The Tower. Holy crap. Yeah, this is complete this is completely unexpected. But what is it? <laughs> We get that it's unexpected. It's a definitely coming with um, tower energy. So I feel like it's going to be whatever offer this is. It's not something small. It's going to be something you feel. It's going to be something uh, that that's dis disruptive in a way. This could be a good surprise too. the tower doesn't necessarily have to be doom and gloom 100% of the time. Um, I think this is more these two energies together are just more about you will be shocked or this will surprise you that energy what else can you tell me about the ace of pentacles what else can you tell me about the ace of pentacles what's going on here with the ace of pentacles wow the hermit all the all the major arcanas are coming out now <laughs> virgo energy some of you could be dealing with a virgo i honestly feel like this is just um a message about someone yeah and then the six of swords at the bottom of the deck the Hermit's making me think of just you being alone or in a solitary journey of some sort. Um, it's almost like you're doing you and then this happens. You're busy, focused on something specific and then this happens. And it's going to happen quickly. The Knight of Wands is here. I feel like this happens after some sort of change or transition though with the Six of Swords. I don't think this is going to be for a Pisces that hasn't made any sort of changes in their life recently because I think they're tied together. Tell me about the Ace of Pentacles. Why is the Ace of Pentacles here? What is this about, Spirit? What is this about? I still feel like I haven't really... Oh my God, Justice. Oh my God. It's almost like Spirit doesn't want to, to tell me. <laughs> All, it's almost like spirit is like, you don't need to know the details. All you need to know is this is going to be surprising and it's going to be the right thing to happen to you. Justice is here. It's almost like this is going to be fair to you. This is going to be right. Um, you will receive justice. If you haven't felt like justice has been yours or if you felt, have felt that things haven't been fair to you, that nothing seems to be working out for you recently um libra energy with justice i feel like this is going to be just right and at the right time perhaps because i feel like the timing here is very like it's gonna happen like that queen of cups at the bottom of the deck ten of wands and the sun yeah i feel like this is going to be um almost like a, a much needed 
blessing or a much needed surprise. I feel like something has been difficult for you with the Ten of Wands, the Nine of Swords here. But with the Sun and the Queen of Cups, it's almost like you're going to be happy to hear this. And not just happy, but emotionally fulfilled. Okay. So let's look at why the star is reversed here with this Knight of Wands. Tell me about the star reverse. Also, I apologize in advance if you hear my dog Leon barking in the background. We are in a new place and there's a lot more activity around here. And uh, he just thinks he needs to bark at everything that moves. So apologies in advance. Okay, tell me about the star reverse. King of Wands. Yeah, this is definitely something quick. What's this? Nine of Cups, and you're going to be, yeah, I feel like this is something that maybe you gave up on or you thought wasn't going to happen, Pisces. Maybe this was a wish that you had, something that you really desired, um, and it maybe it didn't happen before, uh, but it's it's almost like it's, it, it, maybe the timing wasn't right, but it's happening now. You could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Tell me about the Knight of Wands. What's this about? What's this Knight of Wands about? Three of Cups. This could be work-related. Yeah, this could be work-related or something that happens at work. Ten of Wands, Three of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like you've been under pressure somehow. What's this? Yeah, Knight of Cups, Two of Swords, the Devil at the bottom of the deck. Capricorn energy. I feel like you felt stuck. This is some. This is a situation where you felt stuck, undecided, unsure what to do. Maybe you felt like you had no options. Maybe you felt like you didn't want to make a certain decision. I don't know if this is related to love, these feelings of being stuck, or if this is related to your career, uh, finances. Uh, maybe you feel stuck in life. I don't know. I, I'm not picking up love energy right away from any anything yet. Um, any of the cards I've laid down, yeah, I have not picked up love. But I, I, I get this and some of you have been burdened, feeling burdened, feeling overwhelmed. Um, and I feel like a lot of you have felt alone or are alone. The Hermit is here. And it's almost like the Hermit is here and that's why the Ace of Pentacles arrives. Kind of that energy. And um, there's the Knight of Cups again. So I think there's definitely something that's coming your way, but it arrives when things are not the best for you or when you feel like you you don't have options or you can't make decisions or you feel stuck. So let's see what's going on here with this two of swords. What's this two of swords about down here? Because this is the this is the kind of like past influences on what's currently happening, right? What's this two of swords about? Why is the Two of Swords here? What's this Two of Swords about? Five of Wands. Okay. Some sort of conflict. Six of Wands. There could also be jealousy. Gossip. But I think here, this is more about, okay, Page of Wands. All this Wands energy. I think something has happened and... I feel like a lot of you fought, okay, I'm just going to say what I'm seeing. Uh, it's not going to resonate with everyone watching, but these are the, the energies I'm picking up strongly. Some of you were fighting for a position at work, a promotion at work, a project. Um, kind of there was a competition atmosphere here and you won. You were successful and it started you on a new path. Six of Wands, Page of Wands. But it wasn't easy, Five of Wands. Others of you, um, there could have been jealousy or drama, gossip in a circle, a uh, social circle of some sort. Could be coworkers, could be friends, family. There was a problem within a group of people and you came out on top. I feel like you also um, not only came out on top, but it's like you're headed in a new direction, Page of Wands. But I feel like for both of those scenarios, you didn't really know what to do at first because both of those scenarios mean that you would take some sort of new direction. Six of Wands. I mean, Six of Swords. So let's see what this is about. Tell me about the Six of Swords. 
What can you tell me, Spirit, about the Six of Swords? Why is the Six of Swords here? Why is the Six of Swords here? Ah, Wheel of Fortune. Yes, there's definitely something happening here. There, there's um, some sort of shift or change for you with the Wheel of Fortune Six of Swords. Again, this reading will not be for a Pisces that has not made any changes in their life recently or November did not come with any, October or November didn't come with any sort of changes or opportunities for change. I think I'm speaking to a Pisces who has had some sort of transition that they're, they've been on or some sort of change that they're on or making in their life or some sort of transition in work, something like that. There's been a shift for you. But it's tied to an opportunity, I feel. Tell me more about this Knight of Wands. Let me get one more about this Knight of Wands. What can you tell me about this Knight of Wands? What can you tell me about this Knight of Wands? Three of Swords. The Fool at the bottom of the deck. Interesting. With the Seven of Wands. Free. Back off. Not interested. Carefree. Hmm. What is this? Free of pain. Free of heartache? Knight of Wands came with pain. Okay, so this could have been a fling, something sudden that didn't last, some someone that's non-committal. There could be something here that is tied to pain, but also to building as well. This is interesting. So the star reverse could be that you were probably healing from something or needing to heal from something. Uh, maybe you were very disappointed. The star reverse to me sometimes is like someone feels hopeless, like nothing's really happening for me, despondent. And I have the three of swords. So I, and the ten of wands is here. So it's almost like whatever comes in, either you've already, you're already in this energy of pain and difficulty and something comes in that makes you very happy Knight, uh, king of wands nine of wands nine of cups sorry and the three of pentacles is here could be work related or moving into this new transition is difficult comes with pain maybe that's why it's been so difficult to make a decision because you know for example if you're having a new job that means you have to leave your old job I think there's something happening here though where you're moving on by yourself. I have the fool, I have the hermit. Some of you could have recently had a separation or left work or something like that. This is so strange. I feel like this is going to be a very specific reading the more we clarify, but let's just keep going. Let's get some um, energies down here for you and this other person. What can you tell us, Spirit, about the energies between Pisces and the person they have, are, or will be dealing with? What do we need to know about the energies between Pisces and this other person? Ooh, I haven't even told, asked which one. Okay, I'll just keep these to the side. Tied up, paralyzing fear. Okay, tell me about Pisces. Tell me about Pisces. What do we need to know about the energy Pisces is bringing to this connection? Can I get one more? Tell me about Pisces. Tell me about Pisces. Looking inward. Yeah, you're the hermit. Reflection, solitude, planning. Take some time to look inward and figure out your next steps. I feel like this is you. I feel like you're trying to juggle and make a decision. Because I have balancing act here as well. Um, juggling indecision balance. So you could be doing a lot right now or having to make, you know, weigh your options about something. So this is your energy. So let's see, what about this other person? Spirit, what about this other person? What does, what does Pisces need to know? This other person. New beginnings. You're ready for a new beginning and a fresh start. Okay. What else? What else do we need to know? Falling leaves. Time changes everything. Okay. So either this is someone coming into you after a really long time, or they've gone through some sort of changes in their life separately, you know, away from you. 
Maybe you haven't even interacted with this person before, but there's a new beginning with them on the horizon here. So why tied up in paralyzing fear? Feeling trapped, stuck, burdened, fearful. See, this is that energy that we've already been seeing, but why? Let me see if I can get one more. Where's my kipper deck? Oh, right here. Can I get one more, please? One more energy. One more energy. One more energy. And tell me about Pisces. Tell me about Pisces. Courthouse. Okay. Tell me about this other person. Tell me about this other person. Tell me about this other person. Coffin. Imprisonment. Ooh, okay. So courthouse is like justice, um, negotiations, legal matters, decisions, official decisions, um, institutions, um, things like that. You're making a big decision in your life. Now this person has coffin. Coffin is all about changes, transition, endings. It's like the death card, but it has new beginnings here. So they're going through some sort of ending of a cycle in their life. And maybe they were stuck in that cycle for a long time or stuck in a situation they didn't want to be in, but it's over. And now there's a change happening. So where does all of this fit in with you though? Because I'm still picking up like some of you might not know this person. This could be somebody completely new to you. Let me clarify these energies, please. Let's start with you. Queen of Pentacles and the Knight of Cups. Queen of Pentacles tells me that you have a lot going on for you, right? For yourself right now. Um, very uh, established or um, hard, you know, hardworking. You could be a business person, someone that owns their own business. You feel or look like the ideal partner. Because the Queen of Pentacles for me is like the partner you would want to be with forever. Okay, so tell me, Queen of Pentacles, Knight of Cups. What does Pisces need to know about this energy? Four of Swords, okay. Queen of Pentacles, Knight of Cups. Ten of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles, Knight of Cups. Page of Cups. The world at the bottom of the deck. Okay, so again, Pisces. I mean, I hate to say it, but because this is a love reading, you know. That's what I do on my channel. I don't feel like for a lot of you, this is a love offer. It could be. Um, it could be a whole new cycle in love. I don't want to, you know, I don't want to take away from that because Knight of Cups, Page of Cups, Ten of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles. I mean, this could be even a proposal. Looks great. But I, the energy I'm picking up from this is almost like an offer for you that brings you long-term success, stability. Um, and it sets you off in a new cycle with the world. So a lot of you, this could be work-related. This could be some sort of legal case that goes your way. This could be some sort of, I don't know. Let's see if I, let's see if I can get one more. Can I get one more for Pisces? this queen of pentacles doing here with the knight of cups why am i not picking up like love i just don't understand tell me more about the knight of cups page of cups yeah eight of pentacles yeah that's that's what i'm picking up work <laughs> projects being focused working on something so i think a lot of you this might be more job related career related a change in your circumstances financially uh, some of you might be leaving a toxic job for a job that's more fulfilling emotionally a job that's healthier um, so then let's look at this other person so what's going on here with the three of cups and the ace of cups reverse four of wands okay Tell me about the Ace of Cups, Reverse, and Three of Cups. Ace of Cups. Oh, wow. Okay. 
Four of Wands, Ace of Cups, awesome energy. Can I get one more? Ace of Cups, Reverse, and Three of Cups. What's this about spirit? What do we need to know about this energy? Queen of Wands. I feel like a lot of you, this is someone like interested in you. Can I get one more? Can I get one more, please? Yeah, Nine of Pentacles. This is someone interested in you. The Seven of Swords has shown up twice at the bottom of the deck. It showed up when I put down the Queen of Wands. It showed up when I put the Nine of Pentacles. I'm not picking up deception here. I'm picking up that someone's trying to figure you out. Yep. Seven of, of Swords, Four of Cups, King of Swords. It's almost like this is someone trying to be very smart. Because maybe they don't want to be rejected um maybe they they want to have success with you maybe they they're trying to figure out what you would like you know that kind of thing um i feel like you've caught someone's eye or will be catching someone's eye and this could be after something has ended for this person i don't know if you're involved in that or not or if they're you know they're coming in after they've gone through some sort of cycle but they're very into you. Queen of uh, Wands, Nine of Pentacles. Those two together are like, wow, I want that. <laughs> Can't stop looking at that. I admire that. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah. I feel like this person, you could meet them at work, a party, a networking event, through friends, um, something like that. I feel like this person has been hurt before. Ace of Cups reverse. I'm really hoping they have not hurt you because this is their energy. Um, I think that they've just been hurt because they have coffin. So something could have happened in their life that, you know, left them a little bit emotionally drained or upset. I, I feel like they've been masking that by going out. It's like almost like this is someone's energy of let me get out, get back out there. So why the moon reverse with the page of wands reverse? What's going on here? Tell me about the moon reverse and the page of wands reverse. The chariot and the king of cups cancer energy with the chariot so there's some sort of uh reveal here i feel with the moon reverse so something that comes to light knight of wands interesting this is what's coming in this is what you don't know the moon reverse page of wands reverse the chariot is here the king of cups is here it's almost like you don't know that love is coming in knight of wands yeah, Knight of Pentacles and Ten of Cups. This is good energy, but you, I feel like you don't see it coming. Or it surprises you. Which is why I feel for a lot of you, this might be new energy coming in. Can I get one more for the Chariot and the King of Cups? Or this could be something surprising that sets you off in a new direction. The Chariot, Knight of Wands. Talking about the moon um, reverse with the page of wands reverse. But I feel like it might take a little bit of time. Yeah, queen of pentacles. Either someone comes in that's super into you. Or you are headed in a new direction where you're going to be much more stable. Much more stable. Much more secure. Both good things. But you, this is definitely not something that you see happening or coming your way it, i feel like the, the the common theme here is surprise so tell me about the six of wands and the queen of swords tell me about the six of wands and the queen of swords four of cups three of cups Tell me about the Six of Wands and the Queen of Swords. I think somebody notices you and talks to you. Like, I really feel like that's it. You might not be interested right away. Tell me about the Six of Wands and the Queen of Swords, because maybe you have this tough exterior. Yeah, Ace of Swords. This is somebody that's going to be talking to you. I feel like you might even have more than one person. Some of you are going to be dealing with more than one person. This is what's going to be headed, you know, 
in the near future or what's coming in the near future after all of this kind of happens is that I feel for a lot of you there's going to be some sort of transition you go some sort of change in your life that brings in an unexpected opportunity and this opportunity I feel will set you up for you know an instance of someone like catching your eye it's like they couldn't see you before but now that you've made this change they can see you now and they want you. They've been through their own ordeal. You've been through your own or ordeal. Time has passed. Um, if you've been with this person before, falling leaves is here. So I feel like it would have been a long time ago. But I feel like this is all headed towards someone communicating, talking, having an uh, upfront, honest conversation. Can I get one more for this Ace of Swords? What do we need to know about this Ace of Swords? What do we need to know? Oh, I got two. Hangman and Ace of Wands. Yeah, this is gonna start something completely new. But I don't think I don't think you're gonna be um I don't think you're gonna be like participating. I don't know, that sounds weird, but it's like you're you're not gonna be into it at first, or you're gonna be thinking about it first before you jump in. You're gonna be very careful when this comes in. So that's what I have for you, Pisces. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, hit that like button and subscribe. Uh, thank you again for all of your support and kind comments, and I will see you all in another video very soon. Take care.